Welcome back. This is part three of cooking how I would cook a chicken, uh, the roaster chicken in the oven. So let's get started. Here I have a chicken that I bought and is not open as you can see. We're just going to go ahead, we're going to go through some of the steps that I think that will make your chicken more tasteful. Using a plastic cutting board, we're going to go ahead and remove the chicken from its wrapper. But before so, we're going to make sure that we protect our hands from any uh, pathogens or anything that may have been on the chicken. And as we, as we know, this is a cooking show, and we don't like to think about those things, but it is uh, something we should always keep in, our, in the back of our minds. So I'm going to place the chicken here and I'm going to open it. Just going to go ahead and remove the wrapper. Let the chicken fall onto the board. Oh. Almost made a little mess there. That's okay. So we're all set, we have our protective gear on, and with the roaster, there's going to be a pop button. So you don't have to worry about the temperature within this um, type of chicken. Now if you was to go purchase a chicken and it was not a roaster, you will probably have to get a thermometer and find out the setting and stick it inside when it's done. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and remove the back side out. In the bag, they have what have you. I don't particularly use those. Some people do. I just discard of them. Okay. Now here in a bowl, to keep from running the water, I have already prepared a nice bowl with water. And basically, I'm just going to submerge the chicken in there. And I'm just going to rub it all over. And as I'm rubbing, probably cannot see. But as I'm rubbing, I'm kind of pulling. So let's try to see if we can get a little more in our newly gloves. See if we can get a little more uh, view so that when I'm doing the chicken, you can actually see. Okay, that is as good as I am going to get the view. Okay, if I push it back some, we may just get a nice view. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Okay, so here we have a little spill of chicken juice. And this is the reason you want to use. Uh, a cutting board that's not one the same one that you're going to use for your vegetables because of blood and you don't want the cross contamination okay so we're going to go ahead and without further ado And get our gloves back on and we're gonna go for this chicken and we're gonna start pulling off the fat and what have you some people like it that's okay but you always want to just clean rub your hands in the cavity of the chicken and just start pulling okay and you just want to rub your hands and get the chicken a nice clean and if you see any feathers you want to pull them off okay I got my knife handy, and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put my chicken back on the cutting board. 
and I'm gonna go inside right here and on the sides I'm just gonna start scraping away this fatty part of the chicken dab my hand in the water to remove any excess and don't be shy with it just go ahead and pull pull hard get it all off this one wasn't too bad because it's a roaster but if you purchase uh, one that is not a roaster you may find that it's a little more fatty so I got most of that all up here okay we have the cavity now we want to turn it back where the neck portion is and just open turn the inside out and start pulling just pull off Now, we just go ahead and thoroughly clean this if you like. Okay. Grab your knife, see some parts that you need to be, that you like to take off. All around the neck, cavity of the chicken. So we're going to dump it back in the water and when we clean that we're just going to pull excess fat that we may have missed and just rub your hands around in there and make sure you've got a clean chicken. This is part three of cooking with the shell stir. Part four we're going to pretty much talk about Um, how we're going to baste the chicken and and the things that we did in part one we're going to just stuff uh, the cavity of the chicken and we're going to be ready to place it in the oven for cooking so I'm going ahead and I'm removing all of this Keep in mind that the pop-up part of the chicken, you don't want to disturb that too much. So be gentle around that area. Alright, I'm going to give it one last rub and scrub. And stay tuned for part four. See you in part four.